Seymour Fox Face underscore 97. And let's get back to a, a good beginning. At Suki, we made some progress. Oh, we made all the progress. We're stuck on this level right now. Second to last level. All right. Let's go in settings and adjust the audio real quick. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like me. We have a Reaper. Or two of those. Get some of my best friend Lord Cassidy. Hello, good to see you again, friend. How you doing, Oh, that's fast speed. I'm doing good. How's work for you, buddy? Work for you, right? service workers because those people get zero respect for them. How's that work today? It, was, it wasn't bad actually. It really depends on how you see it. Another defeat? Hmm. I mean, we're on the level, later level so I guess that's why probably. Should I go crazy with raw vampire strength? Speaking of raw vampire strength, have you ever seen Alucard uh, in Hellstrom? Or Hellstrom Ultimate? Top tier enemy. She's absolutely doing the no Oh, mic volume. Let's see what we got right here. One, two, three, testing. One, two, 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 three, testing. All good? A okay? You rocking the speed? Glad to help. So, the reason is um, I'm playing on a PS5 controller and I'm trying to play the game at the same time and I can when I plug into the PC. So, I tried plugging the. Oh gosh, the headphones into the actual controller, and so I couldn't actually talk on the. Well, thank you. I couldn't talk on the controller because I have a different setup for speaker. Hmm. And skeleton warriors. Yeah, it was funny because watching a video earlier about capitalism, right? And uh, what we really own, how the rich own everything, how poor see. Oh, please. And may have realized the only thing we really own are each other, ourselves. And it makes you wonder, right? Like, the only thing we own in this world is ourselves, nothing else. That's why slavery is so terrible. Because we've, took, we've taken. That was really weird. Okay, so mixed feelings in there. I'm an advocate for capitalism in the sense that it promotes hard work ethics and betterment of society. Everyone wants to be better because they want to make more money, right? That's a really good incentive there. The same reason we're going to barter each other money. Our city is making it better. Our city burns it. And that's something we want to work for. Socialism is best in principle, but it doesn't work in practice because people do not function well in a socialist society. expect people to work purely for the benefit of another man or the other in general. 
everyone's out for themselves. It's sad that we have Sai that works that way, but it is what it is. I suppose the best solution is uh, to have people acting better towards each other. I guess that's really the problem as I see it. Oh, wow, I am getting destroyed. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm going with our team as well. Get flame out there. Not the horses. So, I can attest to Fetch and Snow Witch jobs. However, in places that require, like, lots of workers and lots of good workers, you should really splurge for extra money. The problem I noticed recently is hospitals, right? They're not getting good staff or keeping good staff because they're not paying them decently. And a hospital job is a very, very demanding job. And so I know people who work in the hospital field and they're underpaid, overworked, un understaffed. It's a whole series of problems. And nothing good is coming from that. It's only going to end a bad way. So if I had that right there would be a great principle, right? Let's be better towards some like, social issues. Yeah, that's part of the cheap. Yeah, that works like that, but that's part of the cheap we have. Robots. The thing that's killing minimum wage jobs, and I see in the upcoming years a lot of minimum wage jobs that stop existing, is that we have robots that do the really hard work. I used to work in a factory, that kind of job was absolutely awful, like terribly so. Oh man. I foresee that job being done by machine very easily. The human element is not really necessary there. Yeah, that's the problem with basically. No, nothing can be done for the good without some negative outcome. Nothing can negative. It's a negative outcome, right? So for every good action, there's an equal and option bad action. So you're helping people, right? You're saving them from doing very low paying, mostly jobs. See, the economy only works off money because it's a way to go for people. The bottom system works very well, but it's not standardized, right? So no one's going to really profit off it. There's no way to just have a standard profit off bottom system. And so money was put in place as, okay, this is the standard currency here. Everything will go based on this. I feel like I would argue that we could do with a mass restructuring of the economy now because what we go based off our economy is very old and outdated. We must restructure our economy in a way that would be good for people now. Because I feel like the way we're running it is not very efficient, right? Comparatively, right? Based on what we have now, what we had back then, I feel like we could benefit much from structuring everything. Or well, not so much everything, structuring some of the unnecessary and the outdated. Oh god. We got a little buddy. Exactly. And that's very inefficient. Recessions only matter of time. The problem is we're not focusing inward. We're not focusing on problems that affect us. We're spending money elsewhere. Well, all right. Just do that again real quick. I feel like you've made more effort to people that are in poverty. Bailing out, probably go a lot farther. I hope it does. 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 I
my question about how pricing so high. We had a good excuse of COVID now, right? But ever, ever since COVID's basically got extinct, we have no good excuse for being so high. This is probably basic. I have a bunch more to fucking do. I'll take one of you. A lot more of you. So, COVID in of itself is a very sensitive topic because a lot of it lends itself to conspiracies and I'm missing the thing. There's a lot of, uh, how I say, religiosity there, where the question spirit is seen unnecessary as well as not good for it as a whole. When you're stifling thoughts, that's always a bad situation. And that's what I'm seeing a lot in America, at least, where they're stifling thought en masse. So you can't think or talk about certain topics about with certain people, or in general. That's why people are talking about how everything's censored nowadays, and I agree with them. As a principle, things should not be as censored as they are, but that's a problem now. We have that. So I would say, it's an epic honor, our first one rights to free speech. That would go a long way with all these problems we're facing right now. So. I will say this, offense is taken, not given, because people respond differently to switch different situations, especially different words being said. You could say the same thing to a wide variety of people, and you'll be surprised on what you'll find. Because there's no real way to gauge how someone reacts before they're reacting, and so it's a bad situation where you have to feel like you walk on eggshells. I hate that feeling, personally. It's like, oh yeah, I want to talk with you less because I feel like what I'll say will impact you negatively and make you think about some things I'd rather not think about. So I'd say we need more casual, like, making fun of people. Yeah, it's unfortunate they have to talk about certain things with certain people. You can't break that, right? You've got to have friends who you can talk with openly. Because they're not friends, they're acquaintances. Then. Friends are people you can talk with without fear of being judged, or being hated, or being cancelled, so so. And it's weird, because even people I'm close with, right? That I've opened up with sense of talks about, I've got mixed reactions. Overwhelmingly positive, so I can't complain about that, but you see every now and again some people are really against talking about certain things. There's a phrase, uh, cater to your audience or know your audience. So I'd say that applies here, when you want to speak, not candidly, but honestly. And you want to make sure your words have impact on certain people. Here's what hmm. Yeah, that's a hard thing to gauge out here. Because people are very complex humans. Humans are very, it's very complex. A lot of things that we should be able to openly address are hard. And certain topics that we get quiet are wide open so to speak. I feel a problem lies with how we're addressing each other and how we look at each other ourselves. Because for some reason all of our dreams are being quashed right now. We're not really living what we want. Hmm. 
on religion that's a good one there actually I would say religion is great as a principle like to believe in something other than yourself or for people that are it's very depressed to believe okay if not that I love myself someone else or something else will love me and that they don't so it gives a semblance of hope people do most. However, the only problem arises with extremism. Extremism of any kind can lead to very negative consequences. And so with everyone who will take the joke as a joke, there will be people who will take the joke as something much more. And that is not what's not being discussed in terms of religion. Not to say it's a joke, but in words of that context, but people will see it as their whole entire being. And I need this period. This is my life now. I will devote my whole entire self to this one thing. And that's where a problem becomes a problem. I can do nothing but agree with that. It's not that they need to chillax, it's that they haven't told how to chillax, right? This society is doing terrible in terms of raising people to deal with certain unkind or unfamiliar topics. And so what we have is people that are very misinformed or almost out of touch with reality. No person, no one person should feel that their freedom to not be offended should trump the freedom of another person to speak. Speak their truth, speak their life. Oh, this is cool. Okay, what did I left? Just you? Perfect. Because you don't care for blueberries. See, that is a punishable offense by death. If you don't care for blueberries, there's not much I can help with, buddy. It's over. Sorry, not sorry, blueberries. That's that's the only thing that really matters. <laughs> That was the straw that both came back to those. Was it like, were you leaning towards it? Did you have some back and forth before that and then it went to that? Or you're just like, I don't really care if Blueberry you get to take that back right now. There's really this context there I'm missing that would kind of like, not justify his position, but like, okay. I get what you're getting there, right? It's not just like, I hate blueberries. Strawberries, yay or nay? Okay, so, yeah. Um, okay. So, I have mixed opinion on strawberries. I like strawberries as a complimentary meal, as a complimentary food, or to complement a beverage. I'll get the pink drink from Starbucks because I love strawberries in combination with other things, not just the strawberries on so If you ask me if I would enjoy a play of strawberries, I'll say no. That sounds really appealing to me. But you take those same strawberries, you put them in a drink, then we can start talking about that. Strawberries are slightly sweet water, just solid. It's basically ice, strawberries. That's how I feel about strawberries. And they're just unappetizing for what they are. If you, they're great. 
Okay, so about watermelon, I'm going to fight you on that one because watermelon, I, I used to eat a whole watermelon a day. I would take one watermelon, I would cut it in half, I would eat one half on my lunch break, then I'd eat the other half walking home from work. Because watermelon to me, like, if we get a nice, sweet watermelon, of course it's second, right? Like, some watermelon is terrible, right? But as a whole, like, nice, sweet, juicy watermelon in the summertime, that's wonderful. Like, it's, it's embodiment of refreshing, right there. If I'm on death row, I get a last meal, it's probably gonna be a watermelon. And not like the fake watermelon like candies thing, like the really terrible flavoring of half a watermelon. I want a real watermelon. I want a big juicy watermelon. Wow. Forced to Okay, if someone's forcing you to watermelon is poison, don't eat that obviously. I think that's a put that out there. But unappetizing? Have you ever had like a really sweet, good watermelon? I actually know someone who's really good at plants, and they could tell me all the defining factors of watermelon distinguishing features. I'll get you in touch with them. We'll have a watermelon debate on the channel, actually. I might actually start a watermelon stream. Oh, Publix. That's where you went wrong. You went from Publix. You gotta get them from a farm. Like, actually from a farm. Publix, that places you on the mid... Coast, mid Middle America, okay. So it went wrong already there, right? You want to go on the East Coast and get some fresh watermelon. That would change your mind. They have watermelon patches and fields, anything watermelon? I mean, on the tier list, I will rate Wise as a top tier grocery store. Wise and Giant are two top tier grocery stores that just don't get enough love. Publix, I've heard that name sparingly in the whole entire debate of which one's best. I don't think that gets much love there. If there's a reason why it should, feel free to post it. I'm actually very curious about how like Publix is. Because I've heard sparingly about Publix, but nothing really like in depth. Like this is my place to shop. I haven't heard anyone really have a strong opinion about it. It's like Publix or death, nothing else. Walmart. As a God-fearing American, there's no way I can bash Walmart. Because they sell guns. They sell guns and bullets and milk. And that's all you really need. They even sell like Suzy Q's. Yeah, Suzy Q's, like, Walmart is S-tier. It's an S-tier store with F-tier customer service. I've known people that worked at Walmarts. Yes, they sell guns. I live in a very liberal state, and my Walmart sells guns. They sell shotguns. If you're not, if you weren't ready for that, yeah, they sell shotguns. They don't sell, like, handguns, because that's a whole other monster in itself. But yeah, they sell shotguns. Okay. You go to look by the sports aisle, like the sporting aisle, and the fishing goods. So look where they sell, like, the fishing gear. Right next to that, you will find the shotguns. If I, like, check in. If I'm wrong, tell me. Because I'm, I'm not afraid to be wrong. But if I'm right, I have changed your mind. And that is something I wish to do. Because if you've been to Walmart, and you haven't got a shotgun from Walmart, you're missing on the Walmart experience. Because I've been to so many Walmarts across America, and I just... Yes, I'm a Walmart connoisseur. Okay, if you hate Walmart, you don't hate Walmart for Walmart. You hate Walmart because it's shitty customer service, which they do. I'm, I'm not faulting you on that, you're not wrong. The, the customer service there is... God awful. Based on customer service, I would shop literally anywhere else besides Walmart. I think in jail you get better customer service. But for what they have, it's amazing. 
not even bad things for cheap, like decent quality items for cheap. I have my gaming table, I got it from Walmart. It was $9 and it's just solid. It's a solid gaming table. It's not fancy smancy, but it'll do its job and it'll do it well. For everything you say about Walmart, this guy's own atmosphere that can't be matched. I was in a Walmart one time. I saw a lady walk out of the bathroom and just start screaming at the top of her lungs. And then no one acknowledged her. She was wearing a bright golden dress and just started screaming at the top of her lungs and no one bat an eye. And if no one bats an eye at a screaming woman, you know what that means? That means she's a regular there. That means she shops there regularly for no one everyone just, oh yeah that's that's susan she just likes to walk out of bath and start screaming that atmosphere of i don't care that walmart has is something worth celebrating that's the pinnacle of humanity right there it's like yeah this is walmart uh you may love us you may hate us but we have an atmosphere that can't be easy. The dirtiness is own issue. I have reports from people who worked at Walmart about the dirtiness in itself. That's that is a concern. You're not there for the sanitary standards of Walmart. No, you're there for the Walmart experience. You can get a little dirty in a bunch of regards from Walmart. But God, if you're not enjoying yourself while doing it, Walmart is like a staple of America. When I think of America, I'm thinking of bald eagles, guns, and Walmart. Right, because if you're not thinking about those three things, you're not thinking about America. I could be wrong, but is Walmart strictly American? Do they have any other locations anywhere in the world? Because that's, that's how far I enjoy it, like, that's a baby. Russian diplomats come to America and see our grocery store and be like, wow, that's crazy. These guys have food on the shelves, not being eaten. That's wild. I think it was Gorbachev who decided, like, yeah, this is this is amazing. You guys have it all figured out. We have no idea what you're doing here. Kinda crazy? No, that's the next level of crazy. You haven't achieved crazy to have been inside a Walmart and just like own that shit. When I was younger, we would hide out in the Walmarts and play like hide and seek there. We would have games that would last like a solid hour of us just like hiding in Walmart and playing tag and nobody there. Okay, see, you're, you're rating Walmart on a normal scale of rating things, right? You're, you're thinking, okay, out of five, it'll be a three. Eat. But that's to some of its parts. As a as a whole, anything less than the five is blasphemy, right? Cause it's just it's just a whole entire experience. You gotta be ready for it. I'd say in terms of atmosphere, solid one. The customer service and sanitary things, yeah. I've been inside a Walmart bath. I've seen the worst things in my life that Walmart bathroom. That's honestly disgusting. It's like, uh, you ever play PT, the playable teaser for a Silent Hill? And that baby that was just in that bathtub? Yeah, I could see that inside a Walmart bathroom. I, I could definitely see that, just hanging out in a Walmart bathroom. And no one would care. No one would just like, oh no, not that baby. You know, they'd be like, oh, that's Walmart for you. You win some, you lose some, eh, baby? Oh, yeah. Yeah, spend some time in a warm bath and you'll pick up on some things. Finally. Everyone's seen crazy things in Walmart. That's what makes it five stars. If you're looking for experience, you go to Walmart. You won't get any other experience in any other store. You can go to Shop Right, right? You can go to Giants or Wise. You can go to any grocery store. You won't get the same level of what the fuck is really happening. Like what's good right now? That you'll get a walk. 
Because even people in Walmart don't know what's happening at Walmart. There are people who work at Walmart. And just, they just accept it for what it is. This is the atmosphere now. It's a vibe. You can't kill the Walmart vibe. If I could rate Walmart purely on vibes, it would get a 10 out of 5. I'm doubling up on here. Because Walmart has that vibe check like you wouldn't believe. It's just, it's just such an odd and uncanny atmosphere. It's almost like being transported in Twilight Zone. Right? It's just a whole other level of humanity that we haven't achieved yet. It's like... It's you're reaching the next plane of existence right there. That's a that's a portal into a new dimension that's unfamiliar. Yeah, it's it's not going to be pleasant. Just you, you accept that this is Walmart. You're not going to have fun here, but you'll be entertained here, like the Wild West. It's like if people never got any laws, never evolved. Ne never follow Ham Robbie's code, code, like that would be Walmart. Walmart is summation of every awful thing human beings have ever done. Right? It's a conglomerate of all the worst aspects of humanity, right? You go there, and by God, you experience something terrible. To quote Ollivander, Terrible, but great. And that is Walmart. In a nutshell. I want I want that one. <laughs> Someone dropped a chocolate fudge dragon in the urinal, okay? Whoever dropped a dookie in the urinal, that's not okay. Okay. I said, you do not do a number poo in the urinal, that's for number P. <laughs> Whatever crap in the urinal, that's not okay. I should watch more South Park, that, that is just a beautiful series. South Park is just lawless as Walmart. It's a, it's achieved peak comedy and just pure brew satire in such a very interesting way. Like you can tell that it was made with love, affection, and a little bit of crack cocaine, and that's okay too, because you know what? It's America. You do what you gotta do. Oh man, South Park is one for the ages. seen a show yet. Yeah. One vibe your very edgy cousin gives off. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't talk to that cousin anymore. I think we excommunicated him from family. But right, that's yeah. I mean my edgy cousin kinda like like tapered off as he got older. Yeah, it's almost like when someone doesn't follow social convention and you can tell they're not doing it. And it's like, I don't know if it's personal or not, but it's like, they're living outside of what you'd imagine possible, right? That's South Park. They're, they follow their own rules and that's it. No matter who you are, what you do, they're just going to live for themselves and what they want.
Okay, speaking of edgy ghosts, I've never seen Skull, but I haven't seen anyone with him, actually. I've been very distant. Because I feel like Baron's just... Oh. I don't want to be doing to read and be like, fuck. You know? I feel like Vin Diesel has, like, a copyright on the word family. So I feel comfortable using in stream. Do you believe that the friends are what make you who you are because you control having them life? Because I've seen people defend their families just non stop against really terrible things they do, and I don't really agree with that. Standing on a cash register, shirtless, and screaming, and that's you. Was it like a stunt? Was he doing it just like, oh yeah, this is a stunt type thing, or this man, this is Tuesday, this is what he does every day, right? He just wakes up, takes off his shirt, goes to Walmart, and just takes care of business. Like, Ferb, I know what we're gonna do today, and just goes out to Walmart and takes care of business. Like, what's the plan today, Brain? Same plan every day, thank you. To conquer the world. But instead of conquering the world, this man goes along and just causes problems. Huh. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do it, though. It was so cursed. I remember they started banning milk. Like, they tried banning milk because they somehow traded milk to white privilege and that was just the funniest shit for a long time for me. That they, that milk just became associated with that. Because I think it was, it was a Homelander. I think it was outrage behind Homelander and the boys. And like how he drank milk when he was doing some pretty terrible shit. Like that's what it really was. But yeah, the outrage here was amazing. Good job, guys. Oh, wow, this guy is really good. He's still going. Down. Yeah, kill that one. This one. happens in Walmart stays in Walmart. No one in the outside world is going to believe that it happened. It's like an unspoken rule of like, yeah, this is, we've now entered unfamiliar territory. I got you, bro. I feel better. Um, take some time on us. Um, what's up with that? Now a great night, buddy. I'll see you. I will try. Thank you. 
Oh, that was way too fast. Um, hmm. Archers. Archers. One ninja. And let's get it for a fencer. Two fencers. Yes, three fencers. So Not just me. What will I talk about? Let's see. I am very hyped for Resident Evil 4. That's my game. A New Year nomination already didn't come out yet. I don't care. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. All I do is raid jeans. I was bedridden for a whole entire week and just kept on playing RE4 every single day. And that was just wonderful. Bombs. Bombs. Oh wow. Yes, so oh man, they get shot down. So a mammoth take all the damage and then fall up by me. Set bombers. That works. Oh wow. Oh god. The Gatling gun. Oh, this would be a close up right here. Nope, 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 nope. No. Why'd you all fly so tiny? You here. You here. That'll take care of that. This over here. I'll have you over here. Oh, nope. That's right there. this just for a little bit and then switch back into the games I'm more familiar with it's more of a a departure from my usual Yep. 
Two, three. Oh, oh wow. They don't pass. I'm not throwing another wall. Oh, yep. Yep, I'm throwing everything in the wall, so it's six. Do that. Do the bomb throwing thing. Dramatic. say that if it's not fixed, if it's broke, don't fix it. You go straight in the tar. Well, and I'll just save the one up. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's, he's, he's very dead. Shoot them back, man. No, not them, the other ones. These cactus are pretty good tanks, actually. Dragon. Oh, hey, how's it going?
Glad to see you came. Now ice these guys, come on. Don't fall for it. Just kill them, please. Please, please, no, you fool, no. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to do this. Because this is what works for me. Volley, nine draw. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Put the pressure on, what are you doing? No! It's the last three, you gotta be team with me, come on. Disperse shum shots, please be in the front, take some shots, thank you. better. Yay. That was Overwatch, by the way. Close to getting the Soul City Six skin, the gold one. And a sudden argument for early actually. What do you think is better, watermelon or strawberry? Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. Why do you feel like it's holding you back from doing it? You think you're not a fluid character, you're not playing enough? Uh, strawberry's better? You think so? I don't know, I feel like watermelon is tastier. I feel like it's sweeter. I feel like strawberry has you like its own unique niche for people who's like flavored water. It's like ice basically. It's not very good by itself. It'll do well in like other scenarios, but by itself it's not very really much. On Zeus. Really? Kevin Doyen? Yeah, Dragon again. Followed by Da Vinci? And my Berserker friends. There you go.
was shoot more. Shoot that. Shoot them. Shoot. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Nice. Let's get it going. Let's get it started in here. I will have two different keys. And a lot of stoners. Oh, that's cute. still exist is because we let them exist because we find them cute. In evolutionary they should have died off a long time ago. Personally I feel like pandas are basically useless. I like their portrayal in media but as as their own thing, no. They're really not not hitting their stride. doing face reveals now for a reason so no one for everyone watching I do not look like that because I'm saying my face reveal something interesting there we go but my face does not look like that at all uh, Mr. Wolfman X is informed yeah, cause I had to, cause I don't want people to think I look like that. What? Disclaimer: I do not look like that guy on that stream. I promise. I am much more handsomer-ish. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Kill him. Um. That's good. Don't die. Don't. He died. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, man. Dynamite thrower? Alright. Oh, there you go. Break their ranks. Okay. Uh, you got your hands full. Shoot now. Yes. Oof. Oof. No. My dear sweet child, you were so close. So I just do some fun tactics and just space them out like that. And see how that does. Yeah, that's pretty good at preliminary attacks. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. And they're all dead. Cool. Take one out, right? And just load it, right? With miners or dynamite throwers. Yeah, that works. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Did they all just blow up against each other? Is that what really happened? They off themselves? Really? R r r really? Really, really though? Really, really, really though? Um, nope. Nope. Alright, last one. Do your gun thing. Really?
get some defense on that one just in case. So that one can die. Not that one. I don't want that one dead. Okay, that's it too. Fire. Oh, he survived. That's unfortunate. Alright, that's cool. So, hmm. Load your special, fire, and kill. Yeah. Oh, there. Perfect. And you do your job, too. End it, end it, end it. No, 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 no. Fire, fire, quick, please, fire. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, no, no. You do your fire thing. Quick, shoot. Even it broke dance on him. I wonder, actually. Take all this out. Put, like, three dead eyes in there, right? And then just pack the field with these guys. Diversion tactics, guys. Diversion tactics. Yeah, that's terrible. Hey, man. Some there. Don't want you here. I have two of you. And. Yep. Boom. And as they say, yeehaw. Some, I don't know what happened there, Denvit. Cacti, gunslings. Okay, I ignore the guys right there. Don't, don't, don't get up. Okay. Who's left? My boys doing it? Nope, they don't. Did not do it. Did not do it to him. Uh, gunslinger and just minding his own bases over there. And then I'll we'll have more cacti. Or why choose? Oh, there we go. Perfect. While they're doing their thing, you shoot. Ready? Set. Fire. 
Okay, well he's dying. Do you have one more volley in you, you think? Get by oh, the boat, get by he's dead. The boat. Now, quick, go, go, go. Oh. Ah, oh, that hurt. That one hurt. All right. What? Right. You saw him get folded by that? Like, how? How? Um, okay. That's cool and all. Put one right here. Right, yeah, you saw that. Just in the background, he just died. And, like, no one said anything about it. Like, and I didn't even know what had happened until after it happened. Yes, one second he's there, and then this guy gets choked out by these things. Boom. Fake Lost Raptors. Can you, like, can you do that again? Like, more? What? How am I fighting Velociraptors? How did we get to that point? I don't even know what you are. I did not choose the correct path here. I don't want you here. I want... Yep, yeah, I'll, I'll take you here. Okay, he can take on a mammoth if he stops being a fool. Right, just got stop being an idiot. Yeah, he got folded again. All right, uh, you're over here, right? Do your thing, quick. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. That's great. Okay, so man, start over there with these. So, if he just can get a volley, one more volley up now, 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 now. <sighs> okay. It's gonna have a dead eye. Uh, yeah. Can, can not. Um, take off you two, because you're doing nothing for me. And put a dead eye here. Alright. I'll have in the corner. You can't defend yourself? Seriously? Okay. Who's actually left though, right? Like, who's actually left? Not him. He wasn't left. Okay, uh... Wow. can't place him in a good enough spot for him not getting... Yeah, I saw that, right? Like, he, he thought. He would have thought. I'm trying to place him in a good enough spot. He's going to die immediately. Why are you following it? Stop antagonizing the fucking mammoth. I'm just going to put him straight over here. Oh. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Um, I'm going to do that again, but I'm just going to put him over here. He did not last long at all. Yep, I don't want to see it. Alright, um... Quick draw over here, defending this guy. Alright. This is a good team to me, actually. Don't stand behind each other. What are you doing? No! No!
Oh. They both got eaten by a Velociraptor. Both of them. I'm just going to replay that, because I doubt it's going to happen again. All right. D shoot. No, it's the same Velociraptor. Okay, um, I'm going to put him, actually, right here. Okay, just go after one or the other. Don't go for both at the same time. Les. Wait a second. Aw, oh, man. Alright, that's fine. Okay, quick draw, kill that thing. Do it. A second damage, just don't be idiots, please. Okay, I'm like 90% sure if I can get my like guys in the right place, I can end this thing right here, right now. Just shoot at the things coming towards you, it's not rocket science, what the hell? Yep, three. I got off my own guy, and that just hits different. What? Oh. Yeah, that'll do. I'll put a miner as a wall there. Okay, he's still left for now. Now, now, now. Go, go, go. guy got shot up in the streets. Jesus, that was brutal. Woo! <laughs> <Bye> -bye. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 6900. <laughs> nice. Quick draw, quick draw, quick draw. Gunslingers. Tell me I'm wrong. Slingers, cacti. Ah. Oh. Bounce, 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 
Sí. Chupojo. Oh, it's still alive, I guess. No, nah, it's longer. Not all. Okay. I'll sacrifice a couple of you for one of you. Take one of you out. Put one of you here. And then just get one of you. One of you. Fight. Superboy Share, and thank you for following. Welcome to me, I am Foxface underscore 97, and this is Tabs. Let's get it done. My man can speak Tabs, let's do this. Right now I'm doing these levels, which are strictly for my homeboys over here that fire guns. How's it going today? That's light train, yeah? Custom battles? Okay. Let's see what you're rocking here, because my skills with tabs are very terrible. Hmm. Let's see what we got going on here. Insane long campaign. Well, not insane. Okay, just a decent long campaign. So. Hmm. Well, I'm about to end. I'm probably going to end stream in like 20 minutes, so I'll try some of your levels actually. If I can get a good re end those. Workshop. Think about right now. Search the following. Hmm. Oh, Valkyrie. Yeah, what's happening? A V D X. All right, let's see what we got going on here. VDX, all right. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, ADV, okay. Oh. Hmm. Valkyrie attack. Let's go for it. First three. All right. The last one. All right. Double X. Huh. 
All right, I will try this one real quick. Units, yeah. Let's see. Is that maps? Oh, local. Oh, cool. Let's do it. See what we got here. How would I go about this? Hello, how's it going, Corey? Actually, spelling actually, like the name. I had a friend named Corey. My school is twin. I am very forgetful. Yes, you got me there. I find the best counter to Valkyries has to be fire. This is my opinion. some boys here too. Alright. Double sorted. Got some fire. Well, fire begets fire. So, I shall choose that. And let's see how long these units are last. Oh, they're doing damage. Okay, cool. They are brutal indeed. Oh, they get cooked. Not bad at all. So we got here. Two dragons, right? I'll need something for longer range. This might work. And then I'll need some tanks. Boom. Round two. All right, there we go. Doing some damage. Here. Did I just fight a death? Was I just destroyed by a death? How? Okay, so you can put some unique animations there. Okay, that makes sense. Because that one just confused me. Well, I? Brawlers. There we go. Okay, don't die to them because they're lame. End them. Do it. Do it. Use the dark side of the force. Let your anger and hatred overcome you. I mean, ice works well too, right? Take us some of these bad boys. Fire and ice. A minotaur. And Zeus. I do need two watches. Okay. I was debating that. That's a good counter to that. Let's 
sake of the mentor, put in instead, I shall have my dear sweet gunslingers. Oh yeah, they are heavily resistant to watch a fire. So dead eyes. Let's see, you got here. I'm more familiar with the uh, gunslingers, but I'll try some of that actually. That dragon is just dying immediately. This this guy is no, nah. he's not doing his best job. I go to distract the samurai actually. Jeez. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, he made some very resistant units here. Very tanky little boys, aren't they? Much challenging. Very much challenging. So our Valkyries with very tanky health bars and fire. I feel like I'm at disadvantage here. Who do I want? Right. Think three? Yep. That's probably the best solution here. Three of these, and that gives me more wiggle room in terms of units I can use. I just line of stagger protectors here, so from all angles. Oh, there we are. No, 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 no bad. Okay. Oh, is it time? Thank you. Thank you kindly. That was a very hard map, I'll give you that. Very challenging. Big birds. Nice. It's easy, so I like it. Okay, future fight's easiest. Alright. So, yeah. I will do it in descending mode where I go hardest, easiest. So, that. So, that. Play it. So, let's see. Okay, a lot of range units. I'm seeing that. Okay. That is an amalgamation of all the worst things in the world. It has wings, a flame claymore, a beard. No, this this one's... This is going to be a hard kill right here. Okay. I'll do my worst. I call that his beard like that because my beard is much more flowing and beautiful. 
And yes, I do have one. I feel like putting one on him was unnecessary, unnecessary for that. Cause like it, he had such a good look going for him and the beard just kind of like really tore it apart. He is just not good at beard. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, you can be old and not have a beard. That's a lifestyle choice. It takes more to maintain a beard than cut off. Like, he's flexing on me right now, and I'm not appreciative of that. Because, like, old people develop beards naturally, okay. You can make the argument, but at the same time, upkeep on a beard is... Just brutal. And if you don't upkeep it, you're seen as scuzzy or dirty, and that's not th nothing you don't want to be. You don't want to associate with that, right? Like, no one wants to be that guy. Oh, that is nice. It's grizzled. That's no use. And it fell off anyway. Oh, that's a lot of death. Let's let's see what we got here. I can't see his head anymore. More watches. That's the way I go here. Yeah, I feel like watches are overpowered, and so I feel kind of guilty using them because it kind of guys stage win right now. It's like, why even battle when I could watch ya? And that's for dragon too. Love dragons. Yeah, I've seen watches and blessings use a lot. Oh. Oh no. Oh man. Okay. So, I might have to revise some strategies here now thinking about it. Hmm. What do I want here? I want Samurai, because Samurai are pretty tanky. At least in my opinion. Followed by... Snake Archers. Definitely underrated. Me personally, Snake Oh no. Shoot. Shoot. Kill. Dead in the back. I can see that. Good snipers. How do I control this magnificent beast? Right here. I'm actually unfamiliar with possession. Jaw on the front. Oh. Oh god. Carnage. Where's the claymore? Is he dead already? <laughs> yep. Alright. That's on me. And I'll put another dead end back too, actually. So I have one firing while I'm controlling the other one.
right, that's fine. out this one for that one too for a tempest lich This is actually more difficult than last map. And that could be user error there, actually. Take out that eye. Bring in more watches. And then fought up with a single harpooner. Because I believe in him. And two flint logs. Because why not? Oh, there we are. Now reload and fire, please. Yes. Yes, this is good. Great, great. And now fire on them. What are you doing over there? Fire, 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 yes, 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 perfect, perfect. They may be drunk, but they're high functioning, let's go. Oh, they cannot, darn it, okay, uh, can I F you? Not that way. left oh you yes ingenuity all right that is good so I'm gonna main menu out of here custom content Very finicky. Is there a reason why it's not playing or what do you think? Yeah. Any thoughts on buddy? How did you go about playing that, you think? Sorry about that, buddy. I guess it's a 
no go on that one. Let's see if I can. Failed to locate. Wow, okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's been failed to be located. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, just high again. And that I can't fix. However, what I will do is I will download the other it was a campaign right i'm about to end stream so i'll down the campaign and i'll take care of that tomorrow actually so it's campaign name Possession campaign, meaning a hash possessed units or go continue. Oh. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with the core mechanics of this game, so I can't say. Yeah, I'll say a normal campaign for that one. Because I don't think I have the mental fortitude to be engaged in controlling the so many units at once. Maybe if I become a higher level at some point. can spell it right. It's not spelling error, is it? Okay, so I'll go back to that then and see what we can do.
no, no. <laughs> First thing there. Oh. Got you, got you, got you. Nice where I come from, or where am I now, at least. Workshop grounds. ADVX challenges. V3? Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Let's see how it looks. Okay, we're good. That being said, thank you for watching. I have been Foxface underscore nine seven, and you have been absolutely wonderful. Thank you for subbing, and have a wonderful, great, and fantastic night. Goodbye.